Hey guys, Doug here from Motion, and we are at the Aeromotive booth for the 2019 PRI. And this is one of my favorite products of the year. It is a game changer. Um, Aeromotive came out with the brushless series pumps last year, and they had a three and a half and five gallon variation. And that was good, but it still left a gap um, as far as like, what people want and what electrical pumps uh, could okay, offer. And now they have a 10 gallon a minute pump, and that thing will flow. 2,000 horsepower boosted yeah, methanol. So on the 10 gallon minute up here, we're like uh, on gas, actually aspirated 6,900 horsepower, or what most guys are going to do. E85 forced induction. You can't make that much power on E85. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then if you want to go to go to methanol, uh, straight methanol, you're looking at around 17, 1800 horse on methanol. At the flywheel. At the flywheel. Which is a ton. Yeah. If you figure, you know, if you're a large uh, horsepower outfit on the street, you know, like a drag week style car or anything else, Rocky Mountain Race Week type of deal, you know, this with the variable speed option that we have on our controllers now uh, allows you to really drive these pumps on the street, you know, and not uh, recirculate 10 gallons worth of fuel constantly because you're only sending the amount of fuel to the motor uh, at the time it's needed based on the throttle position. Yeah, so basically this has a true variable speed, so it'll go down to 10% of its flow. Yes, yeah, um, so it'll go from 10 gallons a minute down to one gallon a minute. Yeah, so just above. Yeah, this on the 10 gallon a minute limit, this one at an idle is going to flow around two and three quarter gallon a minute. And then, of course, as the throttle ramps up, we go to wide open, we're around 10 gallons a minute at about 60 psi. And so the way the variable speed works on this, it has a zero to five volt uh, input or zero to anything. So, for instance, on my personal Nova, I'm going to leave it. Um, it's just going to be triggered with a switch, so you can yeah. add 12 volts and make it go from uh, that two gallon a minute all the way to the top. Yeah, you can. You or can you can make it gradual all the way. It's 3.7 volts, so that the in between zero and 3.7 volts is what'll take you to that variable speed. So maybe you can show us. Sure. Yeah, you might even like like kick this on. So we kick it on. We've got our pressure set at a uh, typical base EFI pressure, about 60 psi. Um, you can see on the flow meter here, we're around uh, two and three quarter gallons a minute at an idle. Yep. So if you figure that amount of power at an idle will support, you know. Anything. Yeah, anything you want on the street. So then as we open the throttle, there's wide open throttle. The pressure's still carrying. Uh, around 65 pounds, about 10 gallons a minute. And as fast as it comes in, go back to an idle. And, so you can really have humongous fuel on demand. On demand, yeah, it's basically on demand fuel. And it's very fast. So the nice thing about the brushless pump is it puts less heat into the fuel, almost none. Um, so you don't have to worry about heating the fuel up other than the ambient temperature around, which is why the variable speed exists. Right. This thing's an awesome setup and an awesome option for any serious street car. Yeah. And they come in three and a half, five, seven, and ten gallon yeah. a minute variations. Yeah. Uh, the 10 is just external to begin with, and then you're going to have other options. We're, yeah, we're looking at expanding into a, a in-cell version uh, later on, but as of now, um, we're looking at having our signature series body, which is with the feet on it that you can mount to a frame rail. Um, and we'll have those in stock here pretty soon from you guys. So one of the other cool things about the pump are uh, the voltages. So this thing doesn't really pull any more uh, amperage than uh, a traditional, you know, pump that we've had forever and ever. So. Right. It's it's a little higher end draw just based on, you know, we're obviously flowing twice the amount of fuel, so, you know, you know working a little harder. So, But still, as you can see, uh, amp draw 13 and a half volts. Our amp draw up here, let's say at a typical base pressure for EFI system, 60 pounds up here on our, uh, on our graph, we're uh, roughly around 48, 49 uh, amps. So, and then even at 90, pounds of pressure up here at what would be wide open throttle. You know, we're roughly you know, 57 to 60 amps or so. So it's not taking tons of uh, um, power to run? Not taking tons. If you consider what a, a triple pump setup will run to, you know, a triple 450 style pump configuration could be in the 50 to 60 amp range yeah. anyway. So about the same as other options that flow less? Ex yeah, exactly. Yep. So not about, you know, some of them are half the flow. But, the same as well. yep. So here we're double the flow. And one thing I'll note for you guys, if you were putting this pump on, adapting it to something that already uh, exists, definitely consider your regulator. You're going to outflow a lot of regulators on the market. Yes. Uh, in our description on the on our website, we have the suggested regulators for this setup. That's 
integral to making this work properly as well as filter size. Yes. We want a 12 in and out filter minimum. Yes, you know, we need a large, large filter body um, for that flow. I mean, we're, you know, we're talking a tremendous amount of fuel, so yep. yeah, 12 in and out filter, and then also one of our uh, Extreme series, yeah, the extreme series, and then on up into the, the gear drive series regulators as well. Yep, and then 100 micron before and 10 micron. Yep, 100. Yep. And if you're running ethanol or methanol, run uh, the paper style filter or the microglass. Microglass, yes. Sorry, your ethanol, and methanol. Yeah, you need the microglass, yep. the cellulose, or the paper style one. Yep. Stand the that type of fuel. So, cool. but uh, once we get going with this too, feel free to call into Aeromotive too. Call Doug. Uh, we can get you lined up too on exactly what filter or uh, regulator. What line Sizes. Combination line sizes, everything else. Stay tuned, guys. This is a lot of awesomeness that solves almost every fuel problem you could ever have on a street strip car and most race cars. Yeah, it's going to be a game changer for sure for a lot of the big, uh, big powered street guys. So, right. thanks, Matt. You bet. Thanks, Doug.